Welcome to this week. We're going to continue our theme from last week, which was talking about nutrition and how to feed your microbiome. And we're going to get more into it. And I've got sources from popular literature. I've got a, a, an assignment that is optional, that is more primary literature, talking about what we know right now about how nutrition affects your microbiome. Now, the other part of what we're going to be talking about this week is going to be how cultural and spiritual practices affect the microbiome. So, what I'm talking about with cultural practices are like uh, food traditions in different cultures. And, of course, I want you to look at your own culture first, and then you're going to apply it to another culture. Now, as far as spiritual practices, I feel like I need to make a disclaimer. <laughs> I'm going to have you go over the scientific method again to remind you of what the scientific method can be used to answer and what it can't. So, for example, I can set up a study where I have people pray and then I can measure their stress hormones before and after and the scientific method can answer that question. Does prayer reduce stress hormones? But the scientific method cannot answer whether the people who pray have a spiritual experience or not. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about one of the measurable effects of spiritual practices, which is diversity and possible health of the microbiome as a result of different spiritual practices. Now, this is really far out on the leading edge of what we're learning about the microbiome, but it's worth having a discussion about it. So I hope you, that you enjoy this week's topics and ask me if you have any questions.